How y'all doing out there? Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy Easy Work Boxing. Nobody's talking, no racism. Just get to you 100%. Gotta talk about Regis Pogorez versus Jose Zapata. You know, two good fighters. This is gonna be a great fight. Two Southpaws, you know, going in the ring. Y'all know I'm riding for uh, Regis Pogorez. Uh, Jose Zapata is a hell of a fighter. Uh, he will come in and give you his all. Uh, I've seen videos where you know, they have mentioned the fact that Jose Zapata himself has said, you know, after certain losses between him and Lenars, that, you know, he wanted to quit, you know, the sport of boxing. But, you know, he came back and, you know, now he's coming back off the win off the thing that got Vargas to knock out in one round. You know, his confidence is high, which is dangerous for Regis Pogres. But Regis Pogres is on the rise to come back at the top of 140 since losing to Josh Taylor. And also, which is a other situation in this fight, is, fa is the fact that Regis Pogres only lost one fight to a southpaw, and that's Josh Taylor. So that's something to think about for us fans out here, you know, as you want to predict the fight, as the way you want to. Uh, Regis Pogres, you know, a uh, strong fighter, good chin, you know, old-style boxer to me, you know, comes in with the body punching, you know, uh, uh, head down, you know, coming straight forward you know has defense as well he can stand in front of you and move and he can fight in the pocket which uh he lost to josh taylor from fighting josh taylor style josh taylor style is the bread and butter of staying inside and staying close to you you know reese pogre's power comes from you know him standing on the outside jose zapata you know he's a, a special fighter uh for him to be a latino hispanic fighter whichever way it may be i'm sorry if i'm wrong for that but, you know, he's a boxer. You know, he can be a brute as well in the ring. Got a good jab. You know, he has stepped to the plate uh, a couple of times, then came up short for the championship, but that means nothing. Maybe on this night, he may be coming out to, you know, knock Reeves Pogre's head off. And, you know, uh, like I said, he coming in off high confidence after the knockout over Vargas. You know, uh, he can knock people out. He got power as well on both southpaws. You know, I always say in southpaw fights, it's about the person who throws the right hook the most. The right hook and then the straight left. I think that keeps the opponent off them a lot. Straight jabs to the body from the right hand. Then if they come in, jab, right hook, straight left hand to keep them up off you. So that's what I think uh, I would love to see in this fight. Who's going to be throwing the right hook the most, the straight left hand, and the body shots. So my prediction of this fight, y'all, from uh, me understanding what's going on, I don't see uh, Jose Zapata being up close and as uh, comfortable as Josh Taylor was as bringing the fight to Regis Pogres. Regis Pogres coming in with his style, you know, power with jabs, power with punching to the body. I think that Regis Pogres is going to stop uh, Jose Zapata eighth, ninth round, tenth round from a body punch. That's my prediction on the fight yet. And uh, that's not me being biased. I'm just looking at the Josh Taylor fight. I got them both on my screen. You know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at them at the same time, and I'm watching, and I'm just seeing that, you know, no, nah, Jose Zapata, even though he's talented. One thing I'm worried about with Jose Zapata is the fact that Regis being a southpaw and not holding his right hand up because he always walks with it down and moving it. He may get caught with a uh, overhand uh, straight left hand, that could hurt, and that could be uh, Zapata's way of winning. So there is a way Zapata can win, too, but I'm just going out the body punching and the head attack of Regis Pogres. Zapata is not really a, a body attacker. And uh, I think Regis will get him out of there probably about the 8th, ninth, 10th of the round. You know, and also due to the fact, you know, even though he's high on confidence from the, from the stoppage of uh, Vargas, I just think Reed's going to come out there. You know, he's hungry uh, and he got more to prove. And this is his time right now. So I think Reed's poke red is going to stop Zapata by a body shot. Eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's my prediction. Thank y'all for y'all loving y'all support. I'm sorry for not being on. I'm having phone issues. I got to get a new phone. Uh, when I get that, I'll be able to post more videos. I don't know how to do it off my computer. So uh, I just thank y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about my prediction. It's easy work. I'm out, baby.